best mood. I've been out and about running some errands and it feels like fall outside. And then I've come home and I've been clearing out my closet, which always makes me feel really good. So since I'm feeling good and it's feeling like fall, I thought this would be the perfect time to film my fall lip product video. And I love lip products year round, but there is something special about fall lips. I love deep neutrals and berries. So I have quite a few to get through today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the one I'm currently wearing. This is the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Melted Fig, and this is a very opaque, creamy liquid lipstick. And when I first got it, I was a little bit concerned about the applicator. I thought it might be really messy, but it actually works really well, and it's very easy to get into the contours of the lips. The one big caution I have about this, if I put too much of the product on my lips, it easily gets on my teeth. So I just try to squeeze the tiniest amount onto the applicator and then really work it onto my lips. And the color is gorgeous. It's described as a rosy orchid. And it's very purple, but as it wears off, it gets a little bit more pinky orchid to it. So it's really pretty and I feel like it hugs the lips really nicely. Now I have on a shade from Butter London. This is called Ruby Murray, and it's from their Matte Moisture Lipstick range. And I received this in exchange for doing some surveys for Butter London about some upcoming collections they have. So I got this in the mail, and I wasn't sure what to expect, but I loved the color. And the model they use for this range is a redhead with very similar coloring to me, and this looked so good on her, so I was excited to wear it for myself. Ruby Murray is a true deep berry, and my favorite thing about this lipstick is the finish. As it sets in it feels very velvety so you get that velvet matte but it's not going to dry out your lips the last lip product I have in the berry category is this one from bite beauty this is their matte cream lip crayon in the shade brandy and brandy is a very vibrant raspberry color I love this shade so much and I just love the entire range and I think that's because the formula while it's matte it's not a flat matte it has a tiny hint of cream it applies really nicely and it hugs the lips and really does last for a long time. And this color in particular, yesterday I was running some errands and my girlfriend Sarah texted me saying she bought Brandy, was wearing it for the first time and was just loving it. And then a few hours later, I got another text saying that she was engaged. So she was wearing Brandy on her special day and I think I will forever associate this color with Sarah and I'm just so excited for her and just um, the future for her and her new fiance. So Brandy, love it. And this is not the only matte lip cream I'm gonna talk about in this video. So now I'm gonna move on and discuss some neutrals. This is my take on a fall nude and it's a little bit of a concoction. The first thing I put on is Burt's Bees Lip Crayon in the shade Sedona Sands. Then I can't quite remember, but I think it was on Burt's Bees Instagram. They recommended topping Sedona Sands with one of their tinted lip balms in the shade Rose. And this was to add a little bit of shine and some pinkiness and just make Sedona Sands a little bit more wearable. And I love this combination and my favorite way to wear it is with Max Gingerly Blush and then some kind of forest green eyeshadow on the lid and I just love how that all works together and I think it's a beautiful fall look. In my last video, I hauled Red Apple Lipsticks Vogue, and this is a deep neutral. It's absolutely beautiful, and I love Red Apple Lipsticks Cream Formula. It goes on so smoothly, and it while it has a lot of pigment, it doesn't feel heavy on the lips, so it's really comfortable to wear. And this is probably the lipstick I would wear when I'm wearing this blouse. And the weekend I'm filming this, everything is 40% off at Loft. So yesterday I went and got a couple new work blouses, and I love the deep saturated jewel tone. So I think this lip really complements that without being too much. Now I'm wearing Bite Beauty's Glacé, and this is a neutral that has some brown in it as well as some mauviness to it. And if you were to ask me my recommendation for taking on that 90s lip trend, this is probably my favorite lip product to do that with. And I think it's beautiful. And you could also, if you wanted to deepen it up a little bit, you could top it off with a little bit of Bite Beauty's Cognac. So let me, I'll do that really quick and show you how those two pair together. This is Glacé with a tiny bit of Cognac applied on top and then blended in with my finger. And since Cognac is such a deep brown you're adding a lot more richness to glacé and I think it's definitely another step into kind of embracing that 90s lip. If I've been wanting to wear a red lip there is one tube of lipstick I can't get enough of and that is Bite Beauty's Luminous Cream Lipstick in the shade Apricot and Apricot is a deep burnt orange red it reminds me of fall leaves and I love to wear this with a cream top or cream blazer and this adds such a beautiful splash of color. 
The deepest color I have to show you is another one of the Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Cassis, and it is a very vampy plum. And I think this one is gorgeous, but just for the sake of this video, I applied everything straight out of the tube. But I think this one could use a lip brush just to make sure you get a cleaner lip line. But I think the color is beautiful, very saturated and rich looking. Okay, let's see if I can remember all these names. Up top is Too Faced and Melted Fig, Butter London's Ruby Murray, Bites Brandy, and then the combination of the Burt's Bees Sedona Sands with a little bit of the Tinted Lip Balm and Rose on top. On to the other side, starting from top to bottom, I have Red Apple Lipstick in Vogue and then three Bite products, Glacé, the Red is Apricot, and then the Deep Color is Cassis. Those are my choices for fall lip products, although I recently watched Jem or Jerica's current favorite lip video, and she and I share a love of the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayons, but she also went on and on about how fantastic the new NARS Audacious Lipsticks are, so she has been wanting to try one of those, and if you haven't seen Jessica's video, it was a really good one, so I'll link it down below. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week with a new video.